Hey guys! Say hi girls! Hi! Now y'all know what time it is, okay? We've been having a celebration here. Celebration after celebration after I celebration. celebration. <sighs> now it's whose birthday? Our birthday! That's right. My twins are turning nine years oh. old. Oh my gosh. Lord help me, okay? So anyways, today... We are going to do some planning for the girl's birthday because they have a way and an order that they want their birthday to go in. So I can't do any secret stuff over here because they want to see everything. They want to know everything. They want to be involved in everything. They want to get in the kitchen and cook. So we are going to bake their cake together. And I don't know what else we're going to get a chance to do together today, okay? Um, I also want to hang up some things in their room. We've been doing a little bit of planning on trying to revamp you guys' room, right? What are we going to hang up today? I think we're going to hang up your... Yes, yes, they got some pink curtains that we ordered off of Amazon. If you guys like those curtains, I'll have a link in the description box below, right? Also today, we'll be working in the bathroom, their upstairs bathroom. We're going to do a mini makeover? Mm -hmm. Yeah? No. A mini big make makeover. We're going to do a mini makeover because mama didn't buy all that stuff for no big makeover, okay? Money does not grow on trees. Anyways, <laughs> we're going to get started. So, you guys get to hear today the story of the twins. <laughs> and how these beautiful little girls came about. Alright guys, let's get started! Got it? Mm -hmm. Done. All right. Yay. Open and close the, the curtains. Wow. wow. Nice. Uh oh, did I hang them up correctly? Fix that curtain on the end, Poppy. Nice. Now they can get dark up in here. Nice. Nice. So good. I love it. <laughs> wow. We did a good job, girls. Well, we the had to have. Thing. I know, I think we put, <laughs> I think we put them on. This one was supposed to go. The other way. way. Oh. Yeah, for now it's fine. All right, guys. <laughs> we did a little oopsie daisy, but it's okay, all right? It's okay, because we're going to fix it. <laughs> Just not today. <laughs> While the girls are putting their stickers on the door, I just want to take the time to let you guys know who we are if you have never been to our YouTube channel before. We are the Randomness Family. We post two times a week. Sunday we aim to inspire you guys and on Thursdays we invite you into our family just like today. So if you're new here, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you like it and let us know who you are in the comments below. You can always find us and our family at randomnessfamily.org. We love you guys and we hope to see you back. All right, guys, in here, one of the first things I am going to do is take down those shower curtains because the girls got some new curtains they want to put up. So let's get started. Those are so cute. And the toy storage area is adorable. Look at this. All their toys behind the curtains now. So right, now they can dry. i 
So we are looking through this cake business but and these cakes, these box cakes require way too many eggs. So we will be using some substitutions like applesauce because that is also a good binder. And I use it a lot to replace eggs and oil in any recipe. Um, yeah. We, oh, we want to show you guys this beautiful golden, look at that. Golden sprinkles to go on the cupcakes. Isn't that pretty? And we got these gorgeous golden cupcake holders. So, y'all ready for this? Yeah. You guys remember that song? What was that movie, babe? With Michael Jordan and stuff and a little uh, Space, Jam. Space Jam. Yeah, that's my movie. Y'all ready for this? Good job, Chris. All right, let's try it out. Oh, that Thank you, Mommy.
bacon into this. This Ooh. is about to get good. Okay? Is that, ice, is that good. sprinkles? Cake sprinkles? Looks like it, huh? It's it's really like nice on you. I know. <laughs> ah, it's Christmas time. All right, Daddy is getting a birthday lunch together. <laughs> This is the panther cake. I mean, we did the best we could. Actually, it looks beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, there we go. Gorgeous. I'm not going to show you guys the back. I want the ant with the cupcake on it. The back looks good, but the front looks well, better. I wish I the back looks good and the front looks better. name is more <laughs> yeah happy birthday my princesses happy birthday thank you thank you all my princesses a yeah. one a two a three go Woo! high five yeah all right it is time get the knife baby No, that's a good size for you. story that is very difficult for us to even tell you guys because they are miracle babies right girls we almost lost them at 21 weeks right yes. babe I started having contractions at 21 weeks and I end up living in a hospital with my husband for three months and Ronnie actually had to stay in the hospital for an additional week so I actually took one baby home, which I was very, very disappointed about to say the least. I took one baby home. I was not able to cuddle both of my babies at the same time and I felt like I was losing out. My husband would go after work every day to go check on her until she was able to come home. On the day that Ronnie came home to us, I, I ran in the hospital and snatched her out of the bed and put her in a car seat and we went home because I wanted both of my babies home. 
My name is Rai and I like to draw and do schoolwork. And I love to play Barbie too. My favorite food is fish and chips. My name is Ronnie and I love to write and make cake. I like to bake too. And I also like to finish my work and to get done. I love to write and I wrote an entire book of Sarah the Polar Bear. It's funny because the twins are so different even though not only do they not really look alike because they're fraternal twins, they are just very different in personality. They're like night and day. Each twin has their own personality. Ronnie was always silly and goofy. <laughs> Even from a baby, she was just all giddy. And that's one thing that we can tell the difference between the two. But Ryan, she liked to sleep a lot. She and loved so to sleep. She was going to get her sleep in. Ryan was going to get her laugh on. And <laughs> we just knew what to expect pretty much from the two of them. Yeah. Yeah, they still the same. Ronnie is still goofy, especially when she gets tired. She know. turns into a completely different person when she has a lack of sleep, okay? And people usually, when they see these two girls, they can't even believe that they're twins. They usually consider Kristen and Ronnie to, to be the twins because they do look alike. They're always like, are these the twins? And we're like, no, these are the twins. They're both sweet, sweet little girls. Since Raya and Ronnie are our first girls, they've had the burns of first, training. <laughs> first time parenting. <laughs> first time parenting on them. And I, I have to say, I have to admit that we were strict when it comes to the twins, yeah. okay? Because there's things that we did not allow them to do that we allowed a lot of little ones to do. And also because they were our first babies and because they were NICU babies, we remember when we used to take them to the park. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> when we used to take them to the park, guys, you would have thought we were crazy a Z. Because when they went to the park, they had on mittens so their hands wouldn't get dirty. If you think quarantine craziness is something right now, Okay, these girls were quarantined. I wish I had some pictures. I'll find some pictures, I'll show you guys. But we used to take them to the park in mittens, a full jumpsuit. Mittens, hats, We used to onesies. look at people that took their kids to the park with a onesie on and no shoes and socks and be like, they crazy. These kids had on space suits. <laughs> these like, <laughs> we used to be like, those kids go get sick, they gonna get colds, they gonna get the flu, and our kids was protected. They had on bitties. <laughs> Full suit onesie. It was zipped up to the neck. <laughs> and if it wasn't zipped up to the neck, we'd tell you something. Like, babe, it's got some space up in there. <laughs> and when we would go over our family's house, oh, boy, man. they had to have sanitizer. Because when you look, just the thing, when you come home with NICU babies, uh-uh, we don't play that, right? But you gotta, you no, better no. squeeze sanitizer up yeah. in your hand. Squeeze it and hold dollar. One uh, thing that they do is they definitely take care of responsibility. We can always depend on them like to do their chores. Even when yes. the younger ones don't want to do their chores, they step up and they do the stuff that And again, don't. like I said, when they were little, we were more strict with them. Yeah. <laughs> we can count on them for everything. They're like our little pillars, you know, our little Pillars for prayer, pillars for all know what the little ones are doing. Uh, yes, they do. And they try to act like little mamas, too. Yes, we have two little mamas. Mm -hmm. So we don't have to worry about mamas. Yes, kids. These twins were coordinated. We yeah. go to the grocery <laughs> store and want to run one way, the other one to run the other way. And I'm trying to see, like, which one I'm going to get first. Oh, my gosh. And I chase after one and the other one going down another aisle. Remember when we Man. had to get a leech? Oh, we had two leashes. We was like, no. Okay, let me tell you guys. When <laughs> we were going to stores and see people with their babies on leeches, <laughs> and we'll be like, what are you treating the kids like an animal? People crazy. <laughs> <laughs> they like an animal, they right? like a dog. But then, oh my gosh, when they turned one years old, they were running here to there, everywhere. We couldn't even shop. And then we'd be like, okay, now we're gonna take the leash off. I think they'll be okay. As soon as I take that leash off, they gone. Like a caged animal. Out. I'm like, what in the world? And then Tasha, she'd be like, babe, go get them. Man, it's because always not, me. It, especially if it's Sunday, if I'm wearing high heels, it's like, I'm not about to chase after no little bit. And I'm running after these little babies in church shoes. Church shoes, feet burning. <laughs> like, 
And they like, they went over there. I hear people like, they telling me, hey, they went over there. They went that way. <laughs> like, doggone it. <laughs> and it's funny because the whole leash thing, like people will look at us with our babies on leash. And you know, we like a black couple and we got like two little babies on leashes. You know, two little black babies on leashes. They looking at us like, man, something ain't right here. <laughs> <laughs> but it's right here for it. Okay, guys, imagine having terrible twos with two two years old Woo. girls, okay? Mm -mm. Vomit, accidents, and yep. tantrums. Yes, tantrums. Tantrums, tantrums, tantrums. They're, like, they're probably like vomit. Yeah. We had they're, some with weak stomachs. Yeah. And so sometimes we get in that car and we give them some food and it's just blah, everywhere. everywhere. These twins and their terrible twos will have forever scarred us. Forever. There were times when we pulled up into the church parking lot to get out and go to church and somebody did something, I don't know what, and we had to pull right back out and go home. Because there was no way we was going to be able to even go into church. That was before okay? the online service. <laughs> <laughs> so if we missed it in the church, yeah. we will have to wait till next Sunday or Wednesday to get that service. Yes. What worked for us when we had twins was that we had a schedule. And yeah. I was very strict. On that schedule. We, I'm telling you, no matter what, you guys, if we went over family house, and it was about to be six o'clock. We up out of there. We blown out. They be like, the party hasn't started yet. That's okay, guys. You guys have a nice, blessed day. <laughs> we are going home. The girls need to brush their teeth and go to bed. But kids sleep anywhere. Guess what? They're not gonna be sleeping here. I be like, babe, it's five fifty-five. Yes. <laughs> we had, ready to go. We had a timer. <laughs> In fact, our cell phones will go off. Beep 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 beep. beep, beep, beep. They like, go what's that? Oh, they started going. <laughs> always had a schedule up until this day we keep schedules in our house okay we keep schedules the girls are expected to be in bed at a certain time but before we was strict on that schedule every kid was trained on the twin schedule yep. everybody would be in bed by seven o'clock no matter what but as the girls got older we've let them have like a little bit of time longer to stay up if we don't get them off to sleep we can't get to sleep because we got other stuff to do it so hey yeah I'm Mr. Feeder, Jesus is Lord, I'm not free, yeah, there was nothing holding me, I'm free, yeah. As soon as they wake up in the morning, they're on schedule. Yeah. So they know to brush their teeth, they know to get dressed, they know to get the um, dishes out the dishwasher, and when we come in, they no. have, and we recently just started them since they uh, turned eight and a half on their own personal devotions. We want to instill the word of God in them at a young age. And we also want them to have a personal relationship with God. And so that's very important for us. That's something that they now value. Yes. You want your kids to value what you value. You don't, you don't want it to be something that they only do through you because when you're gone, you want them to actually have something to stand on. That is the story of the twins. There is more where that came from. This video is not big enough to hold every single thing. We hope you guys enjoyed our video and we'll see you in our next video next week. And birthdays and parties are pretty much over, right? Yeah. They're over. This was this was big for us, right Until girls? My birthday, August. but it's not gonna be like, I'm not, no. All right guys, bye. bye. <laughs> we love you guys. Love See you, you in our next video. All right.